This week I fly down to Rototilt Dig Day. I'm a Digger Girl, this is episode 36, let's go. Oh, it's Monday and I have been rained off, so I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to build this multi gym that I've bought myself. Now, if you've been following, you knew that I was going to the gym. My PT stopped doing it because he had to go back to doing forest work and he just didn't have time. So I decided to buy a multi gym myself and get it built in my garage. I'm going to paint the walls in it eventually, but I just want to get it up to get started. So yeah, let's try build this. <laughs> This will give me good motivation to work out, especially when the kids are in bed at night. So I'm going to get it all nice in here though. Get the walls all painted, get more rubber mats down. I measured that wrong. So here's how it's looking now. I'm pretty impressed that I managed all that myself. I need to get more mats. I'm going to get it all out here and all down here. That's bed for one of my friends, so that'll be gone and get it all tidied up. So I actually want to come out here and use it. Good job done. European Rental Week is from the 9th to the 15th of October. European Rental Week celebrates careers in plant hire by the European Rental Association. I love working in a plant hire game because you get to work in different locations all the time. There's unlimited career paths and you get to work with some amazing people with the same ambition and drive as you've got. Plant hire is great for you because the machine will be there when you want it there, you don't have to service it and sometimes it even comes with an operator like myself to operate it. Tell us why you think plant hire is a great industry to be part of. Use hashtag work and rental across social media and let everybody know why this is such a great industry to be part of. morning and I've been sitting on the laptop for the first couple hours um, of my day. I decided to come and get a workout washed out now. I've got my gym in my, in my garage. I can do that. So I'm going to do this. And I don't really know what I'm doing after. I've kind of got a day off. Um, there's still plenty needing done office wise and stuff. But let's get this done and then we'll see what happens. Me all done in the gym, feeling so much better, ready for it. I don't want to be skinny, I want to be strong as beep. Right, I've got a couple orders to do for my merchandise. So let's just get these done quickly and then pop around to the post office with them. I'm actually going to go right now when I finish this and see about shipping to the rest of the world. Because <laughs> I do have a huge following in America, Ireland. I've got something to send to New Zealand. So yeah, I'm going to go on and see how it works for shipping because I'd love for the rest of the rest of the world to get stuff as well. 
Uh, I've got to do one to New Zealand just now because there was a guy over on holiday who was staying with somebody in Scotland. So I posted on stuff, but silly old baby here put in the wrong size. So now I need to send off my own back something to New Zealand, which I don't mind at all. I'm so grateful that people are actually buying my stuff. But let's put it in the Royal Mail click and drop what I use and see how much it's going to be and see how much it's going to be the rest of you guys and see if you all buy this stuff off me. Right, let's try this. It's going to Wellington, so we'll see how much it's going to be. We're looking about for New Zealand, which is literally the other side of the world for me. Now that's saying international economy is £6.75. That would cover up to £20, which would cover a hat going to New Zealand. If it was anything more than that, probably average £50 would be £11.25. Is that something you'd be willing to pay for me to ship it to you guys? Well, we'll do this one as a test and see if Blair gets this one over to New Zealand. Right, let's get these plane ins shifted. Up to there. That is all the plane is up. I'm just going to tidy up this little bit of mess here. And the roller has now been delivered as well from Hiring Supplies. So my afternoon will be rolling that plane is in up there. Tidy up that mess there too. So the bricky has actually gone on the roller for me. I never get anyone offered to go on the roller. I would never offer to go on a roller, but he they're waiting for a delivery of type one. So he's um, gone on the roller for me to roll the road. So I don't have to do it which is a plus, so I'm just um, leveling off this last little, little bit of planings up the top here um, which will allow parking for the boys when they come to build the house or storage or whatever so yeah what wee bonus that was All done for the day. Um, getting the plane ins. Dipper, stop it. Getting the plane ins on the road and, and rolled in. It's made a big difference to the road. Dad's going to go up there tomorrow and lower the levels for the house, and I'm heading away to Roto Tilt Dig Day. Flying to Birmingham. Burning Birmingham. 
burning on my flight is at seven in the morning so again it'll be like leaving here at three in the morning or something like that so yeah see you guys nice and sharp in the morning Right, it's 3am on the dot and that's me heading away down to Glasgow to get the flying down to Birmingham. I had a terrible sleep, the weather is terrible, so I'm going to have to take my time on these roads. Hopefully all the flights will be on time and undelayed and I can do my makeup nap when I get down there because um, I just couldn't be bothered this morning. <laughs> I'm here at a dig day with Rototilt. They've got three different Rototilts on three different machines ranging from size 6 to 17 tonne. They've also got a new RC controls on the duck that I'm going to go and check out. They've also got other competitors here. They've got green and yellow, so it'd be good to compare the different ones and see why Rototilt is coming out on top. So Mal, do you want to give us a wee talk about the new RC5 control system? Yeah, I'm going to show you around. This is the new range that we're bringing out. This is going to come right the way through from what will be the RC1 right up to the RC9. This is the first one that we've got fitted over in the UK. We've got um, new hydraulics on the RC systems now, compensated hydraulics, so when you uh, rotate and you tilt, it make, maintains the speed for everything, so you get nice smooth control over those. And there's a couple of other nice little features that we've done, little protection plate for the uh, sensors for the, the, the Leica Topcon Trimble systems. Th this particular one has got the quick change on it as well, so he's gone for the top hitch as well, so we can drop off the, the unit all of the stuff comes through, we powered underneath so the grab comes on automatic so he gets to pick up his attachments and run them from the cab, he doesn't need to get out and come into the, the danger zones. And it's not just that, it's the controls that are different as well, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's, 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 an, it's, an, it's an operating system that goes with it, it's a complete new new system. So I've seen these controls at Bioma but they've never, I've never been in them in a, in a machine. The, this is one of the, the nice features that we've done now, these are rotor tilt design, rotor tilt built joysticks. Uh, gives you a lot of um, flexibility going forward. They've got touch pads and extra buttons, and it just kind of future, future proofs yourself as well. We can see that that's the way that systems are going. They're coming um, more and more linked into the, the, you know, integrated into the machine. So these will give you some some way of, of being able to to cope with that if one ever comes at you in the future. New screen in the cab. Oh, so is it here? Yeah. So there's a, um, you can see the controls on there, that's where you control the, uh, the, the coupler. All your adjustments are done through that as well. And the upgrade for the RC range is that there'll be remote support. And that goes direct through your phone, so that's Apple or Android. Oh. It, so at least we can get some diagnostics done or we can help you with adjustments to settings and things like that. So that can be done remotely. Every time I see you, you're selling something different. What have you got to offer today? What have you got for me? Lights, bars, functional styling, Amy. Functional styling. I think a pink one of them would look good in my digger. Actually, I'm with you. <laughs> have a look at this. Pink. Uh, it's not a digger all pink though. We can match that. Yeah. Don't panic. Okay, I'll hold that. you to that. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> Lasers as well. Lasers, but you already know about that. Yes. You've got that bit sussed. This is what you need now on your lorry. That is what I need on my lorry. You don't want it, you need, need it. it. So I, love, I love the round ones better than the old school. Do you? Yeah. That's quite, they're quite sexy actually, just being that bit small, Whoa. smaller. <laughs> yeah. You know your canopy? Yeah. We have a ring that goes all the way around the top of the canopy. So then you whack those, Name four on. of those, four corners with LED flashes. 
Nice. Have you, have you got one already? Yeah, we've got them? one already. Sick. You heard him. We're here with Trimble uh, as part of a collaboration that Dynapack and Trimble did in the factories mm -hmm. to bring control to compaction. This is kind of our first step on that road to fully autonomous machines. It's, it's pretty crazy when you're inside there and it's like totally taking control. You just want to like jump and grab <laughs> the wheel. All you're doing is you're saying, right, I want to follow, it's following this path. And then you're going, I want to move over here. Yeah. It's going to follow this path. And how many times it's compacted yep. as well. It's pretty, pretty unreal technology that, isn't mm -hmm. it? When you talk to the site guys, the guy goes, I want eight passes with a 13 ton machine. And the, the roller driver gets on it and goes, do 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 do. Back forward, oh, back forward, done. Do 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 eight. Oh, maybe <laughs> a bit, I better do two more, you can be sure. Whereas this it's counts it all. Te counts yeah. it, tells you. But what's also quite clever about it is, I know for a fact, in the middle of here, there's a soft bit. So if you turn the vibration on, and run backwards, the machine will be dead quiet, and that suddenly you rev up, and the vibration will speed up because there's a soft oh, bit around here somewhere. That's very uh, clever, isn't it? Oh, and it's just going to follow that so round that here. follows your line now, um, and it carries on. All you've got to focus on there is going forward and backwards. If you want to change lane, you press the minus button there. There we go. So now it's steering. Oh, to the, the That's lane. pretty clever, isn't it? That's it. So you know, for a soil compactor operative, that uh, isn't capable, or it's not as, you know, used to this. What? Uh, the way I put it to people is if I can drive it, anyone <laughs> can, do you know what I mean? I mean, anybody could actually drive that now, couldn't they? Look at it. I still feel like I wanted to grab that steering wheel and it's going to crash. <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's cool. Mm. It's made all the way technology's going, was not it? Well, that's me all finished at the Roto Tilt Dig Day. I had a brilliant day catching up with the Roto Tilt ones and trying out their new systems and stuff. Now I'm for journey back up to Birmingham back up to Glasgow and I'll never be home about one in the morning. As always guys, thank you for likes, comments and subscribing to me. Come back next week and see what I'm up to. Hi. Hey, it's... Stop it. Stop that. What are you seeing? Ow, Dipper! Do, you know do you know how to start it? <laughs> it's not set up the right way to me. Look, I wanted to go that the other way. I just embarrass myself in this. <laughs> I actually am. I look like you're driving this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>